Quit waiting on the train. But it ain't easy. It's a hard job. You know, I lost it without that train two years. I lost a lot of family. But never feel so in my life yet. And that's my queen. Very pleasant girl. Everybody in the village like her. Very respectable girl. But it hurt me. And all it now, up to this morning, the crying. But it ain't easy. It's one of the hardest things I ever went through. My mother passed away and I had it so hard. Because only my one I got to, to deal with her. Only my one. And me and nobody else, my one. Her mother passed away eight years ago and I raised her. My mother lay daughter home. Because I used to work at banks. I used to leave home five o'clock in the morning. Wake up there and tell her going along to work. She would get up and dress she leave sister for school. And to loss at this stage ain't easy. It's a hard job. So she was always helping you out. Yeah, always. So the man come home, she done cooking everything. She did going to school. She went to school at last of all. What was that? So I don't know how to explain to you, but it ain't easy. It rough. Totally close. Cause I got five children, but I was two. Me and then two was it house together, and my two last children. Me and two of them was it. Right now, my seventeen-year-old daughter home. I got a cook for she and everything. But no destiny gone. I got aunt there. It helped me help me out since Destiny passed away. Because since Destiny passed away and cook. My aunt gave my daughter food. But otherwise than that, I put in two. I train. It ain't easy. You tell me about Christmas, I know about no Christmas yet. But right now I don't clean my house. I tell myself I'm even putting no blanks. I don't hurt in my book now. The hardest point, I want to get through this, make sure everything's right, make sure she put down properly, and then I can move on from there. But that's what it is. Now she didn't sick. Because you see her morning, me and she talk, I didn't hang out clothes. She tell me that they can work. I tell she get get work safe. I can see when you get back. And to hear the news that she collapsed at work and dead. That, that's the hurtful part. So she didn't have any ailments? No, she didn't have any ailments. Not She's healthy. Well. Yeah, she did good. She did comfortable. She did good. She come home, she bring home some things from out the supermarket. We talk, but she mostly bring things from the girl home. Well, I don't know how to explain it, but it's hard. I train, I train. Right. I know the hard, the hard, the hardest thing about this is when she put it down, but I got to prepare myself for that. But otherwise than that, I, I just school in it. I suppose to do a taxi Thursday. The um, policeman tell me they're going to give me a call. You got a good ear, Thursday. That would be a right, that give me a good understanding wow. what happened that she cut out that type of way. But when you get there, then tell me that she went in the washroom. Right? And then realize that she stand too long in the washroom. So when then take the door and then washroom, her foot is down here in the toilet, her head is by the door, because that's how you see her. Right? So I don't know what they happened at. I don't know if she had a heart. I don't know. But you got to be up in here, taxi. But it's rough. It's a hard job, but they're saying that we got upset. I can't flame my face. So right now, just cooling my head till things come true. 